My family have been on the land here for 100 years. I'm the fourth generation farmer. In this old shearing shed when I was a young boy, my father used to class the wool. I used to stand next to him and he'd teach me what he was doing. The pervasiveness of the drought, it's all consuming. And you come home from work and you know that you're gonna to have to try and be the father and the family man and then try and sleep and get up and do it all again. It gets into your bones. In the depths of the drought, we were approached by a wind farm company with an opportunity. Didn't know anything about renewable energy, wind energy, solar panels or anything at that point. I've gone from a struggling, bankrupt farmer without hope in the middle of a raging drought to somebody with not only hope but expectation that we can turn this farm into a really viable enterprise. With the wind farms coming to the surrounding areas, uh, I've seen a, a boost to the local economy. There is limited major infrastructure projects in this region, so the renewable sector basically has enabled us to keep the business viable. Well, Dival's earth moving, it's meant going from a small contractor to a medium-sized contractor. We've employed 40 to 50 odd people for, uh, for wind farm projects. I'm conservative in my beliefs but I do support renewable energy. Money injected into our community goes round and round within that community, basically. Everybody benefits. Renewable energy in this region is the future. If the government get their way and cut the renewable energy target, all of that investment, all of that opportunity, particularly in regional Australia, has disappeared overnight. It's gone offshore. If investment in renewable energy stopped in Goulburn, it would definitely hurt my business. A cut in the red would mean cutting jobs. I am bitterly disappointed with our coalition governments who are putting obstacles in the way of renewables. They really need to look at the effects that these projects are having economically on rural areas like Goulburn and the surrounds. The best way the government can support farmers is to have a solid, stable renewable energy target that encourages investment in wind farms and solar farms in regional Australia. I'm a farmer, I'm not a scientist, I'm not an economist either, but it's pretty simple, isn't it?